it's Stephen Emma here from Showworms Online and today we are in Uxbridge in Middlesex and we're here to see this development St Andrews Park by St Modwin Homes. Now we're here to see this show home here yeah this is the four bedroomed four storey York show home. Now this is a bit of a jewel in the crown for St Modwin Homes it's actually got to hide a little bit of a secret on the property which we're going to show you on the video so without further ado let's go and take a look Hello Emma, where Hello. are we? We are in the York Show home, which is by St Modwin Homes. We're in Oxbridge, which is West London, Middlesex. What do you think of it? Well, I like, I love it from the outside. Very contemporary looking. Certainly. You know I love contemporary houses. Yes. And contemporary houses is something some modern homes do really well. Yes. You know, their attention to detail, to how a house looks, to the high spec interiors. Also, they absolutely love flooding these houses with light and look at the high ceiling I actually feel I'm six foot two and I feel like a dwarf and we've got music while we walk around oh well what Fantastic. can you say good entrance right. hallway to start yes, off with let me take a look so we are to plan we've not been in the house before so let's take a little look what have we got here look at then? the quality of the handles there look at that beautiful okay oh so not just a downstairs WC we've actually got a shower room no, that's just an addition, isn't it? Very nice. I mean, how many times you just need an extra shot? You know, that's a good idea. Yeah, so it's tucked in there. It doesn't feel like it's they've squeezed it in there. It's no. plenty of room. Okay. So, this is your living, dining and kitchen space. Well, let me just say about what I was saying about light. You just feel, look at that window at the front there. Yeah. And then panning around to the back it's the, the whole room's flooded with light yeah. so what have we got here at the front this is the it's like a it's not the lounge it's a family room isn't yeah, it it's a family area isn't it on, on the yeah. plan it's 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 all one room so you've got living and dining in this area then but look at this plot it overlooks the trees there yeah it's certainly a lovely plot and this is a former RAF um, kind of base here and yeah, obviously Pilingdon. yeah Pilingdon. and yeah. and the good thing about established places like lots of trees already planted very mature yeah. Yeah. and you've just got to weave these beautiful houses within it lovely right so we've got let's have a look for some dimensions living and dining so I think that's mainly this area yeah and this area here uh, we've got seven meters nine by three meters seven in width. Yeah. Plenty of room here for a, a larger dining table, isn't there? So I've just read in the little note there that some of the items in this show home are extras, which you'd yeah. expect it to be. So, sure. you know, seals speak to the sales negotiator regarding that. Yes, definitely. So we've come from this this sort of family family dining family room dining room into into the kitchen. So what's this? A Which steam is, bake? It is, it's actually, we're at the rear of the property yeah. now, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, yes. Obviously, it's a cook's kitchen, isn't it? Yeah, but it says steam and bake. So is that a steam oven? It certainly is, and I think it's to do with, uh, with baking, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice AG appliances. There we go. So we've got lots of under-counter storage. Integrated appliances. Pop up cupboards. Yeah, it's plenty of cupboard space, isn't there? Yeah. We have the fridge freezer here, then. That's handy, isn't it? Yeah. Right next to the sink. Yeah. Well positioned. And then a large cupboard at this end. Oh, boilers in here. Ooh, very discreet, accessible, yeah, isn't, very it? Discreet, isn't it? Yeah, very. tucked away. And then we've got this beautiful island. Yeah. Which that really makes this kitchen. I do like an island. So your, your gas hob is on here. Yeah. It's got six burners. I think but, that's probably. But that really is right view of the garden look as yeah. well. So you can you can see what's going on outside while you're actually cooking. Yeah. Again, lots of storage space underneath. Got a bank of drawers there. So you've got some Bar stools here around the breakfast area. Beautiful kitchen. And same storage mirrored on this side. Plenty of 
17th room. So what have we got here? We've got bifold doors then mm -hmm. that overlook the rear. Are they open? The rear garden. I think we've got one, the one individual door. Yes, that's good. Oh, we can go outside so and have a quick look then. So this has got a yard. It's almost like a yard. So a bit of a small garden with a bit of imagination. You yes. could do a lot with this, couldn't you? Yeah. You know, it's, it, this is quite nice. They've got some nice artificial grass there. You know, some paving. But just look at the house. Look at the windows. It's a beautiful, beautiful day today. Really nice. And so you've got the bifold doors. I was doors. Just about to say, and then you have a back door as well, which yeah. is here, which is also in the kitchen. Which is good if you don't want to just open. Yeah, that's quite yeah, a You don't time. want everything open, but yeah. essentially that gives you double the space, doesn't it? If you can open the bifold doors from yeah. the kitchen. So on this side of the kitchen, we've got some. They've got the drawers. There's your pop-up sockets. Oh, that's quite. Like that. That's very nice, very isn't nice it? Nice touch. Yes. Over the head extractor. Over the island extractor. So I'm assuming we've got an understair cupboard there. I'm just going to open these and see what we've got in store. Yes, that's, that's yeah. they've got the RCD box and. Yeah. everything in there. I like that, it's all in one place yeah. out the way, isn't it? All sorts of things going yeah. on in there. And what have we got here? Ah! Very nice surprise. The laundry. That is quite discreet, isn't it? So that's nicely tucked away. Yeah. <laughs> get it open, there we go. Yeah. So that's, that's a washer dryer, isn't it, I think? Yeah, it is. But you've also got space for another appliance, yeah. so you could have a separate washer and dryer. And that's tucked in there, and that doesn't, you know, doesn't ruin the the, the the contemporary the flow, flow of the, the room yeah. yeah well it means if you've got full laundry baskets you can put them in yeah. here can't you and, and them, squeeze some cupboards and forget about and it and squeeze some cupboard space in as well and for also, extra I measure while your appliances are on you can shut the door and yeah. the noise won't work you great touch i like that feels very light doesn't it yeah very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. What, so what initially, you... initially, what do you feel? What what does the style of this house say to you? What does it? I like the open plan yeah. feel. I like the way you can just meander through the spaces. But also that you can see from back to front of the house too. Does it feel young? Does it feel mature? Yeah. I think there's a there's a mixture, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. And when you buy a new home, you make it whatever you want it to be, don't yeah. you? Yeah. It's a lovely space. So what do we know about Uxbridge? Well, we are approximately five minutes from Uxbridge Town Centre. That's not bad, here. that's literally yes. walking distance. We're west, west of London. Uh, extremely good links for commuters and transport with this development. Yeah. We're about 45 minutes on the train from King's Cross, 55 minutes from Liverpool Street Station. So really well connected. And also for motorway links. What about education? There is a new primary school that's already opened on this development because incidentally there, were, there are, are plans for 1300 homes on this development part of it's already established yeah. so this is the next phase yeah but there's a lot going on here it kind of reminds me of like living in a mini forest with all the trees and stuff here it's quite quite nice and mature mm, isn't it, is, it it's lovely right let's go upstairs let's then let's go up to the but we have no less than four floors in this house okay so we're up on the first floor Right, let's take a look. What a landing. Well, I Ooh. think we'll leave that for a moment. Let's go through into the room behind you, first of all, which is the first floor living room. Now then, you can see why this is here, can't you? Yeah, as I was saying, you know, I was saying about the mature trees, etc. Um, I'll take you out there and have a little look in a second. So it's not, it's, it's, it's a, you know, compared to you've got all that space downstairs, this is quite a... A nice snug, and I mean snug in a nice way. Yeah. Lounge, really. You can see yourself sitting up here with a. Well, it's quite contained, isn't it? You can yeah. shut the door and just enjoy the view. We've also got the beautiful balcony. Yeah. So let's Let have me a just look give you some dimensions for this living room. It's five meters two in length, three meters three meters in, in width. Oh, yeah. What did the kitchen come in at on the dimensions oh, the of that? The kitchen was five meters nine by yeah. three. Yeah. Good. Six. That's a good size oh, for that, isn't it? Yeah. Nine. Okay. Right, so we've got sliding doors, but also we've got a window with a smaller window that can just be opened for a bit of ventilation. Yeah, we'll have a look on the, let me just have a look on the balcony. Okay. So, so what we've got is this really nice, seamless, 
trip it's, it's a double glass there um balcony on here so there's, there's no frames or anything on it but you can see the development is well underway um and you can see how much care and attention they've taken to these mature trees that are on the site and it will it is going to be like living in a little mini forest and look at that beautiful tree there just you know re re retained really so this them. block this block of houses here so they're in a terrace at townhouses and um they've all got a very distinct sort of curve to them haven't they but you know i know you yeah. can't get the sun in but this beautiful mellow brickwork this crisp render what a lovely place to sort of sit and throw those doors open very nicely decorated as well Nice, I was just saying it'd be nice just to come up here, have the telly on and just have an evening and watch a movie or something. It feels nice and nice and cosy, doesn't it? Right, we've got a couple of doors, so let's take a look. Oh, there she's sitting yeah. under. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a good size cupboard, cupboard? isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's generous. So, laundry yeah. cupboards, suitcase yeah. cupboards, yeah. whatever you need it for. Okay. So this at the rear is bedroom one. So this is your master bedroom. Yeah. Again, Gosh, the window, look at the size of it. Look at the beautiful wallpaper. Yeah. How gorgeous is that? But right, bedroom one, three meters three by f just over the four meters by fraction. So. Wow, so you've got this enormous window. They're almost here. like, do you know, I know they're like window frames, but they yeah. are, they almost frame. Just pull the, the uh, lovely royal back on that side so you can see how big yeah. this is. Yeah, but you can, see, you can see how contemporary these properties are. There's some that's under construction now, and you can see those lovely kind of p pitches on the roof there, and oh, I love them. I really do like these. The design is amazing, uh, isn't it? You know, this is the kind of design that, that Steve New Homes Historian likes. Well, this is going to be a fab development when it's done. I love the wallpaper. That's great. If we we if we could invent texture vision, <laughs> you'd love you'd yes, be rubbing your hands on that. Fabulous, that is. Right. So what have we got in here then? We've got oh a beautiful ensuite. Oh yes. With a bath and a shower. It's very luxurious. It's absolutely house, beautiful it? fitting. Yes. But look at that, it's just like discreet shower screen, there's no real frame to it. We have the beautiful rainfall shower yeah. head there. Yes, the glass is uh, stunning. Look at that, just switch it on, push button switch on. Yeah. Really nice. So it's got a very large window for an ensuite, which is great to have the natural yeah. light. Separate bath there with a shower head for washing your hair. So just looking at the uh, sanitary wear, so that's Vitra, Vitra, um, sanitary wear, really nice. Yeah, I'm always on Again, that we're not sure what's uh, what's included. So speak to the sales negotiator. Negotiator, she'll be able to give yeah. you the general absolutely that's everything. That's something you don't see every day. The <laughs> shaving brush. Yeah, and the old, and the old fashioned. <laughs> uh, like, those kind of razors uh, put the fear into any man. Guess you cut your face. <laughs> well, it's nice to see a nice touch. So this master bedroom has its own dressing oh, room. Oh, it just keeps yeah. getting better. Show the viewers in there, Steve. You know I love a dressing room. Right, we've got some dimensions. So come on then, let's do our usual. No, what no, type of person yeah. lives here? So what we got? Well, we've got a couple. Yes. Haven't we? Yeah. Stylish. Yeah. Size. What size is he? He is. Oh, that's mm. a fifteen collar. Yeah. Yeah. I would say professional lady, very smart, yeah. very slim, lovely. Got some shoes, what about a handbag yeah. as well? Yeah. Yeah. Very, very nice. We've Plenty of space it. for everything in here. Yeah. And very nice artwork as well. So, that's it for the first floor then. You've got your living room and your master bedroom. So, another floor. Yes, we'll take a look up to the second floor. Okay, so we're up here on the second floor. I think we'll take a look in this bathroom here on the oh, second okay. first of all. Yes. So what have we got? Large bath there with uh, a shower overhead. Good sized bathroom. It's got a large window. Feels very light and spacious. I think it's the really tall ceiling height, isn't it, that makes such a difference. Oh, yeah. Right, 
So next bedroom then. This is bedroom three, so we're at the rear again, over the kitchen here. So I'm just looking down now. Um, it looks like, I was just looking at the parking situation. So it looks like this property, even though I was talking about the garden, it actually has got two parking spaces of its own and this kind of nice little um, covered pagoda over the top of it there. Yeah, presumably that will all be opened up. Yeah, and the, ro 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 yeah. the road access. So, bedroom two. Dimensions are five metres two by three metres two. Now, they've kept the a very kind of... The aviation theme. Yeah, they? which is quite yeah. apt for here. Yeah, and it's Toby and Finn's bedroom. Love the little bags. It's a nice bedroom, isn't it? Okay. So also on this level, we have bedroom two. Ooh. That's a lot of glass. Very spacious. I'm just looking at these beautiful foils. Look at them with the feathers. It's a beautifully staged house. The interior design is uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I do like the lamps. Right, so bedroom two. We have five metres two by three metres two in width. They're very pretty. So we have some fitted wardrobes, plenty of room there. There we go. Some nice bits and pieces. The windows are just stunning, aren't they, in here? The way you've... They actually frame those... You've got a full view of those yeah. beautiful trees. And that's what Samodwin are great for, is, is regeneration and making, you know, areas like this, yeah. working with the houses in the community. So I think they've done a great job. It's looking really good. And the conquer trees. Yeah. Brilliant. Right. It's almost the, each window frames a view. We've got another door here. Oh, more storage, another wardrobe mm -hmm. there. So you've got the two double ones and a little single one there, and it's got an ensuite. So it's an internal ensuite. Can it be an ensuite? Yes, it is. Very large shower. I do like the feel of this bedroom. So much space here, isn't there? Yeah. So we've got two bedrooms on this floor. Yes, we have, yeah. But we have another floor to go, yeah? So let's take a look upstairs. <sighs> I can't believe what I've just seen. Right, this is the third floor. Gosh. So this room is labelled on the plan as bedroom four. But I think it could but be it's another clearly the party room, isn't it? Yes, yes. another lounge. I'll show you why. What we've got I in this... It's very versatile. You can use it for whatever you yeah. want. So what we've got in the cupboards first. <gasps> so this could be a wardrobe if you wanted to use it as a bedroom. But So what we've got here, we've got... Or it could be your own personal bar. Yeah, so we've got, we've got uh, a mini... F well, it's not even a mini fridge. That's a wine fridge. cooler. Yeah. And that's a sink. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Nice, interesting. So why would they need a sink and a wine cooler in a bedroom? Why would you, you know... Well, you might oh, hang on, now let's just max it up a bit here. There's a mini bar. <laughs> now why would a mini bar be in a, be in a, in a, in a bedroom number? Four. Bedroom number four, why would that be? Well, if I had a mini bar, I would definitely want... You'd want a hot tub. A hot tub in with that. There you oh go. My gosh. There you go, a rooftop hot tub. What more could you want? What more could you want? There you go. So right up on the top floor, we have this beautiful hot tub overlooking that view that I keep raving on about there. As you can see, we're almost up in the canopy of the tree, aren't we? You know, and it's it's almost frame, it's frameless glass as well. How beautiful. How beautiful. Now, Gosh. let's have a look. All right, so we're at the top. We're in the middle of a... We're, we're, we're an end terrace, aren't we, of this, these townhouses. So what's the privacy like from next door? 
Well, you've got the privacy glass there, and then there's that partition, isn't there? Ex exactly. No. It's a hot balcony. You've got one on this side as well. Yeah. Let me just give you some dimensions there for for what is labelled as bedroom four, come party room, come lounge. You've got four metres six by four metres three. Yeah. So it's so this, here as a square, isn't it? So this hot tub is a, is an added extra, it but it's actually a bit different from a lot of the other hot tubs. Like you, you imagine you need lots of plumbing. This is a very simple one, which you just need an outside tap and a plug, plug socket, a little portable one. But imagine, I think it's enough room for two in there. I think so. I think every house should have one. Yeah. Definitely. Um, gorgeous. Yes. Right. But it doesn't just have one balcony. It has two. Yeah. Like you feel almost feel the air coming yeah. yes, was, the breeze say, coming through between the two. Here, I can feel the breeze. Yeah. Now we're actually really lucky today because we've got a beautiful day. The weather is fantastic. But this is a great vantage point across the site now as you can see. Oh, wow. Um This is great. So you can see the development is quite, you know, quite, quite new. They're under construction, so yeah. I think you'll have to be, you know, I don't think it's the, the fantastic. Did you see that little the tree down there? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, St Madeline, I think you've done us proud here. What a fantastic house! What a, what a great end to, Absolutely. to the, to the York. Um, what more can we say? An absolutely beautiful house. I told you, I told the viewers it would be a little bit of a surprise at the end. And I can honestly say we've never seen a hot tub, a, a house with a hot tub on the roof. No. That's a first. I, I was excited when we saw that piano in Cambridge. <laughs> uh, but this, this really is, is yeah. And, uh, really you know, you're total credit to St Modwin. What yes. a beautiful development. And I hope the viewers like it well. And, and there's nothing like coming viewing this this beautiful show over for yourself. Yes. Um, the York is, um, they have, I think there's some Yorks available. Um, so why not get down here and have a look? If you were like our St Modwin houses, that we've got a, a channel um, and a, a, a playlist, full yeah. playlist of St Modwin houses, and we hope to bring you more in the future. But we definitely want to know what you think of this house. So come back to us with your comments, just like you always do. We love your feedback and we do pass that on to developers, so please let us know what you think, particularly if you're looking to buy on this development or a St Modwin's home house. Uh, let us know, but if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to follow Ooh. us on Facebook. Yes, but also, further information on this house will be in the description box below, so don't forget to check it all out, because it'll all be there, room sizes, everything else that you need to know about this development and the yeah. area, it'll all be yeah. down there. And um, like I say, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.